Hello, everyone. This is Jean from Megaris Academy. Today, we're talking about the chicken and rabbit problem. The chicken and rabbit problem is a very common problem in elementary school math contests. And this problem exists because a chicken has two legs and a rabbit has four legs. If the chicken and the rabbit have the same number of legs, such a problem wouldn't exist at all. There are a number of variations for this problem too. The spider and dragonfly problem, because the spider has eight legs and the dragonfly has six legs. The car and the bicycle problem, a car has four wheels and a bicycle has two wheels. The dime and nickel problem, a dime is worth 10 cents and the nickel is worth five cents and the correct and the wrong answer problem. Because each time you get a correct answer on the test, you are awarded with a certain points. But every time you get an answer wrong on the test, you are deducted a number of points. So um, there are a few strategies that we can try with these type of problems. For older kids, uh, we can always set up one variable or two variable equations to solve this type of problems. But for our elementary school students, uh, we introduce the strategy of making an assumption. Now let's look at an example together. A farmer has 30 chickens and rabbits all together. There are 100 legs. Find the number of chickens and the number of rabbits that the farmer has. So we can assume, we can assume that, let's move this up a little bit. Okay, we can assume that all animals are rabbits. You can assume all animals are chickens as well. It works the same way. So if we assume all animals are rabbits, then there should be 30, because there are 30 animals in total. 30 times 4 equals 120 legs. But we already know that we only have 100 legs. So the difference in legs is 20 legs less than assumed. And we also know that each rabbit has four legs and each chicken has two legs. So the difference is two legs for each pair of chicken and rabbit. Now, every time you have a chicken, so every time you have a chicken rather than a rabbit. You are getting two less, two less legs than if you had a rabbit. So each time you had a chicken, you have two less legs than if you had a rabbit. Now we know that we had 20 legs less than assumed. And each time we have a chicken, we get two less legs. So 20 divided by two, we should have 10 chickens. Now it's easy to get to the number of rabbits from this point. We just subtract 10 from the total number of animals. So there are 20 rabbits.